Uh, so I have a comment here. Question three is wrong. What's uh, what uh, what is meant by question three? You mean question three in here? The poor code identified on block twenty of CBP form seventy five oh one. Okay, so so while I seek. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> All right. So here is uh, here is something which um, which we need to be aware. So Izmir uh, is said to be uh, in. Turkey, not in Italy. Uh, so, uh, is that wrong or not? So, basically, uh, one thing I, I, I will ask you, I will ask everyone, is to pretend that you are in this uh, academic la la land, where things that are stated in a fact pattern are taken to be true as they are even though they may not be factually true or reflective uh, on of uh, the situation which if presented in the real world uh, would not be applicable and um, so thank you for pointing this out i also want to point out some other stuff uh, because uh, and i do think that this particular uh, this particular exam, by the way, the April 2021, had one of the lowest passing rates, from what I understand. Uh, so no, not many folks like the exam itself, but uh, I have my own critique, critique on this. But since the goal, uh, our goal here is to uh, be able to um get into the uh, mental state if you will of the cble examiners and answer the question uh the way that they think is correct based on the best answer rule uh we are going to try to distance from what what is uh, what is going on on the ground and to try to understand how it is that those customs examiners uh, want this question answered, so that way we can get a point. But uh, so, but but thanks for pointing this out. Uh, so the methodology that I suggest to adopt here, especially with, uh, and that's not only um, uh, that is not only the 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 the, the problem here. We have. Another one, for example, uh, we have the zip code for Smyrna, Italy, uh, is 4000. Uh, if, uh, if I could ask you a favor and find me a zip code for Smyrna, Italy, uh, which corresponds to 4000, uh, please do so, uh, because I tried to look it up and I don't think I found it. Yeah, it may be it may be there. I didn't spend much time looking for it, so that's another issue. So basically, how do we look at this invoice? We look at this invoice as a true fact pattern, as stated by customs examiners. So, unless CBP examiners say, is what uh, the the way the pro the invoice is stated, is it problematic? And they ask you to look at the mistakes. We take the facts and we accept them as true. That's the way we approach.